Maurice is completing air modeling for a manufacturer in Charlotte, North Carolina that just purchased a vacant industrial facility. The company plans to install a new process in the facility and they want to ensure that the exhaust stack is the correct type. Before he completes the air modeling simulation, Maurice wants to give an engineering estimate of how high the stack should be and assuming all applicable air permitting was maintained, the height of the stack should be most nearly a 65 b 2.5 times the height c the height plus 1.5 times the length or d any of the above pause the video and give yourself five minutes to solve the problem Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will be discussing building downwash. The presence of buildings can affect plume rise and the initial dispersion of air pollutants within the atmosphere. Turbulent wake zones can be created around buildings that for force pollutants to the ground instead of allowing them to rise freely within the atmosphere. Building downwash occurs as the wind flows over and around buildings and impacts the dispersion of pollution from nearby stacks. In order to avoid excessive downwind concentrations due to building downwash effects, the height of the stack must be tall enough to allow the emissions plume to escape the cavity region that is created on the downwind side of a building complex, a height that is referred to as good engineering practice stack height. According to the Clean Air Act, good engineering practice stack height is defined as the height necessary to ensure that emissions from a stack do not result in excessive concentrations of any air pollutants in the immediate vicinity of a source as a result of atmospheric downwash, eddies or wakes which may be created by the source itself, nearby structures, or nearby terrain obstacles. In addition to defining good engineering practice stack height, the Clean Air Act requires the Environmental Protection Agency's administrator to implement good engineering practice stack height regulations in order to ensure that compliance with the air quality standards continue to be demonstrated without consideration of the portion of the stack that exceeds the good engineering practice stack height or any other dispersion techniques prohibited under the Act, such as merging gas streams and intermittent controls. Good engineering practice stack height is defined as the greater of 65 meters, measured from the ground level elevation at the base of the stack, 2.5 times the height if the stack was in existence on January 12, 1979, or the height of the stack plus 1.5 times the length or the width of the nearest building, whichever is lesser, of all other stacks. Therefore, the answer is D. And any stack built prior to December 30th, 1970 is grandfathered and is exempt from the good engineering practice stack height requirements. When determining compliance with air quality standards using air modeling technology, the stack height must be less than or equal to the good engineering practice stack height within the model. Good engineering practice stack heights do not limit the physical height of the stack, but limits the credit that can be given for that portion of the stack exceeding that height. Join us for episode 51 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.